J.J. Abrams' Star Trek made a big change to Carol Marcus, and no one noticed. J.J. Abrams' Star Trek Into Darkness made a big change to the character of Dr. Carol Marcus that largely went unnoticed and be retconned into Star Trek's prime timeline. Carol was played by Alice Eve in Star Trek Into Darkness, and the young scientist became the center of controversy thanks to a scene where she stripped to her underwear and was ogled by Captain James T. Kirk, Chris Pine. Carol was younger and more sexualized in 2013 as Star Trek Into Darkness, but this isn't the change that went unremarked upon. Dr. Carol Marcus, played by B.B. Bash, was originally introduced in 1982 as Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, as a scientist working for the United Federation of Planets. Based out of the Regula I space station, Carol and her son, David Marcus, Merrick Buttock, developed Project Genesis and its result, the Genesis device, a revolutionary terraforming technology that could bring dead planets back to life. Carol was also the former lover of Admiral James T. Kirk, William Shatner, who is David's father. After the Wrath of Khan, Carol wasn't seen again in Star Trek canon until J.J. Abrams' Star Trek Into Darkness brought in the younger Carol in the alternate Kelvin timeline. J.J. Abrams' Star Trek Into Darkness made Carol Marcus a Starfleet officer. When Carol Marcus debuted in Star Trek Into Darkness, she was a Starfleet officer wearing the blue uniform of the Life Sciences Division. Indeed, Carol was also the daughter of Admiral Alexander Marcus, Peter Weller, the head of Starfleet who secretly ran its Black Ops Agency, Section 31. Carol concealed her last name and clandestinely boarded the USS Enterprise under her mother's maiden name, Wallace. Although she lied about her identity, Carol was definitely part of Starfleet since, at the end of Star Trek Into Darkness, she was in dress uniform during Captain Kirk's speech before Dr. Marcus formally joined the crew of the USS Enterprise. However, when Carol was first introduced in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, there was no indication Dr. Marcus was ever a Starfleet officer, Carol was specifically a Federation scientist. Granted, it's possible Carol Marcus in The Wrath of Khan was a member of Starfleet in her youth, and that would explain how she met James T. Kirk. Then again, there are myriad ways Kirk could have met Carol in his early days when he was a lieutenant stationed on the USS Farragut, or even before. If Carol was part of Starfleet, it tracks that she resigned her commission to pursue a different career, especially if her goal was to prevent David, 